is not even a date. It's just two people going out to dinner and not having sex. Sounds like a date to me. <laughs> All of a sudden, the phone starts to ring. <laughs> and it turns out it's my mother. <laughs> Which is very, very weird because she never calls me. I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth and tied it around my neck. Cookie? Sometimes I wish I was a lesbian. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? I just, I just, I just want to be married again. <laughs> And I just want a million dollars. Please don't do that again. It's a horrible sound. Kids, I gotta get to work. If I don't input those numbers, doesn't make much of a difference. I was laughed out of 12 interviews today. And yet you're surprisingly upbeat. Well, you would be too if you found Joan and David Boots on sale, 50% off. Oh, how well you know me. Whose little ball of paper is this? Oh, that would be mine. See, uh, I wrote a note to myself, and then I realized I didn't need the note, so I balled it up, and now I wish I was dead. Chandler, you're an only child, right? You didn't have any of this. Well, no, although I did have an imaginary friend who my parents actually preferred. What are we supposed to be seeing here? <laughs> I don't know, but I think it's about to attack the Enterprise. You're such a nice guy means I'm going to be dating leather-wearing alcoholics and complaining about them to you. <laughs> And there's 500 extra dollars in my account. Oh, Satan's minions at work again? Sometimes he'd borrow your hat, uh, and when you got it back, there'd be little monkey raisins in it. <laughs> yeah, well, sure, when he did it, it was funny. When I did it to my boss's hat, <laughs> all of a sudden I had this big attitude problem. Hey, what do you want to do for dinner? Well, we could just stay in and cook for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Huh. Uh, this is it. This is how we're going to die. <laughs> Ready? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> because he pretended to be Drake to, to sleep with me. <laughs> and then he told me he would run away with me. And he did it. <laughs> and you left the toilet seat up, you bastard. <laughs> so, you guys in the movie, or you just really paranoid? Nice camouflage, man. For a minute there, I almost didn't see you. Excuse me? No, yes, back then I uh, used humor as a defense mechanism. Thank God I don't do that anymore. So listen, how many times am I going to have to touch you on the arm before you ask me on a date? Then suddenly she turns to me and says, do you ever want to do it in an elevator? Oh, my God. Right. <laughs> what did you say? I believe my exact words were flying instant. Meet me in the bathroom. I'm going to the bathroom now. A little extra something for, uh, you know, always being there for me. Wow, I don't know what to say. Wow, I, I don't know what to say. Hey, what do you say? I don't know. Put it on. Oh, now? <laughs> No, no, I think something this nice should be saved for a special occasion. Well, doesn't the fact that I wore the bracelet, even though I hated it, say something about our friendship and how much it means to me? 
But what about the fact that you insulted the bracelet and you made fun of me? Okay, well, that's the part where I'm a wank. I promise I will never take it off my wrist. <laughs> but if, you, if you want to stay in there and be mad, you know, you just, uh, you stay in there. You know what? The... I am here on my knees. <laughs> Holding up these couch cushions as a symbol of my sorrow and regret. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Oh. Do we dare? We dare. Oh. Oh. Two larges, extra cheese on both. But listen, don't ring the buzzer for 19. Ring 20. Geller Green, they'll let you in, okay? If you buzz our door, there's no tip for you. Okay, thanks. Pizza's on the way. I told you we wouldn't have to get up. What if we have to pee? I'll cancel the sodas. Listen, I was um, thinking about... Listen, can you guys uh, speak up? It's harder for us to hear you when you lower your voice. What's this? You get us a couple of beers? I've got to get you lazy boys out of these chairs. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa. Stop sending food to our apartment. No, no. No, no, Homo habilis was erect. Australopithecus was never fully erect. Well, maybe he was nervous. <laughs> Is that the fire alarm? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's not warm yet. We still have time. <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hi. <laughs> this guy says hello. I want to kill myself. <laughs>